Welcome to today's video on how to grow blueberries from seeds of a blueberry. This is a follow-up video from a video that I did on blueberries about two years ago. There's some things that I learned to do a little differently and I want to share those with you. There's also four specific questions. I did not realize how popular blueberries were and there is a ton of questions over from that first video. So I want to answer four specific questions today and kind of clarify some things. Uh, first thing is that those little seeds there in the blueberries, they need some cold time. They need to stay in the fridge three to four weeks. This is called cold stratification. Once they're planted into the soil, they're going to sprout uh, more, more quickly if this is done. And also too, a big thing is the flesh in the blueberry can cause mold to grow. We wanna actually squeeze those seeds out onto the potting mix. And there's another thing, I call it soil a lot of times, but that's actually not the same as potting mix. Potting mix has the perlite that you can see there, uh, the little white specks. It allows the seeds to establish themselves and the roots to get deep down. Where the soil sometimes dries out quicker, it gets hard, it's hard for the seeds to establish themselves. So potting mix is what you guys wanna use. All right, now for some questions and answers. I already answered the first question that was on my list, and that was the difference between potting mix and soil. And that is a great question because a lot of times I'll call the potting mix soil. I know what I'm talking about, but I'm not relaying that message. So that was a great question. We now know the difference. We want to use potting mix for our blueberry seeds. As we're answering questions, so just a shout out to those subscribers that are able to answer the questions in the chat box or in the comments section. Really appreciate you guys. We have a large audience. We've got beginners and we've got all the way up to professionals. So thank you, thank you very much. And the biggest thing is to share these videos. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, but share the videos because look, from what I can see, the, the world's getting crazier and crazier. If we can get out and use our hands, we can plant our own food, be self-sufficient. That's what it's all about. All right, let's move on to the next question here. Uh, the next question is going to be on watering. And uh, several were asking about the watering of the soil. So you don't want it to dry out, obviously, and you don't want it to be soupy because that'll cause uh, the seeds to actually rot. So what I say is just check the soil from time to time. If it feels like it's dry, add a little water. If it's not, just let it go. Uh, another question here is, we, uh, the seedlings, when should they appear? Uh, well, you should have germination on your seedlings in three to four weeks. Okay, next question. pH level was mentioned a couple times there over on the first video as well. And a couple people were answering the questions. It was really good. So thank you for that. But I'll address it. Um, yes, blueberries do like acidic soil between four and five on the pH scale. Um, However, to germinate, they don't need acidic soil. So, but over time, yeah, you want to plant them and place them where they like it. And another question I'll just answer, and somebody asked about cuttings. Aren't cuttings faster than growing from seeds? And I would say yes, your fruit will be faster. And the nice thing about cuttings actually is that you can grow true to whatever the variety is. Uh, when, we're, when we're planting seeds, this is open pollinated seeds. We don't know who pollinated it. If it was hand pollinated, probably not and uh, to grow from seeds it's going to be like children you're going to look like your parents but you're going to be just a little bit different 